Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce how my fan game of Viva Pinata renders the grass and fur in Unreal Engine. First off, we're going to be looking at the grass. So, so the grass can be controlled by the packets. So, this is quote unquote hell grass. I made it just to demonstrate um, this video. Um, packets can change the shape of the blades so over here you can see that they're more fat some of them uh, are stubby and some of them are spiky and then over here they're almost all spiky some of them are stubby but for the most part they're all you know and all of the packets use data assets so if we go over here we can change it to grass and then draw back on the grass and the way that the um the packet system work is, works is through render targets so there's um one color render target that is 4k pretty expensive but it handles the entire um 80 meter by 80 meter uh, garden that we're working on. So the packet system can mask the grass using a a color render target. The color render target is 400 by 400 so it's 10 times smaller so that, um, like, footprint detection and, uh, you know, packet detection in general can uh, query the render target faster without having to worry about looking at the 4K uh, render target. There's another one called Extras. This is what controls the grass shape. Um, the grass height and any other um, features like glowing and whatnot. The alpha of the color channel can control the transparency of the grass. So if I could change the alpha channel to one and then draw it back on, you can see that the dirt now has grass. I can change it to 0 0.3 and now it kind of has a grass, but it's like hard to see. So yeah, the grass system has, uh, I'd like to think, a pretty robust uh, way of adding different packets for like mods and whatnot. The grass has wind using uh, just normal noise, so if I look from above you can see that the grass gets carried um, it, it properly offsets the color depending on how much the wind is so when it comes to when it comes to seagrass if we draw that on, you can see that as the grass weighs, it'll go over the um, the dirt in some spots, like over here. The fur system is also pretty robust. Um, the shader for it can be transparent. There's a transparency mask for the like wings and whatnot. There's a mask for where the fur can be. So stuff like the limbs can be masked out. The fur has physics, although those physics are very early on. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I guess this is the twerking animation. I, I'm not the one that makes the models and animations. I am sorry for that. But um, yeah, there's a little bit of um, booty jiggle physics there. 
if I click on the blueprint in the world and then scroll down you can see the data asset of the pinata we can click on that and then the um, pinata mesh data asset um, has like the, the body the mask uh, the transparency mask the glowing mask um, how many palette channels it has and the palette the palette is a color curve um, atlas that has the black and white as the first one and then it has colored as the second one and you could you could keep adding curves to this by making the texture height higher and then you just add like a random one on there so back to the ground if we press play here we can modify the ground at runtime with the grass following the um, ground mesh I think that's about it with the um, shelfer though uh, thank you for watching